This is Emily Green Farm, your number one farmer, Mr. Wiseman. Um, today's uh, episode of farming, um, I just want to show you brief on um, the natural disasters we have been facing in this raining season. Um, as you can see, this is the farm. Many of the plantain here have been affected by wind and uh, most of them have gone down. So you can see them, take a look at them. So this morning, uh, I want to show you uh, most of the things that you can likely do in such kind of period when you discover such kind of thing. Most times it's a very big loss to many farmers and majorities, but uh, most people don't really know what to do. Now we have uh, two categories of um, plantain that were affected by wind. One are the ones that were being folded by the wind. And uh, these are the ones that were being folded by the wind. You can take a look at them. Yeah, to most farmers, they believe that um, they've really lost this um, plantain. So I just want to give you a kind of assurance and hope that you can still move on even at this stage. So I will show you what to do. Then secondly, these are the ones that were uprooted from the root. You can take a look at them. They went down from the root. Yeah, these are the ones that were affected from the root. They were uprooted from the root. You can take a look at it. Yeah. And look at this one. It's still carrying um, plantain fruit. You can see it from here. But what I want to tell you now is that since this one has gone down, you can see most of the fingers were affected. So, but we are going to do something. So I'm going to carry out an exercise to show you what you do to such kind of situation in order for you to gain your plantain back. So this is not really the end. So this morning, we are going to show you the process and the procedures we use in order to bring back this plantain. Look at the holes. They are ready. So what we are going to do, we are going to dig this place, then put it back into the ground. But this time around, what you have to know is that you have to dig deeper than how it was before. If you planted it with uh, one foot six or one meter, this time around, you have to dig as, as far as maybe two feet or two feet six, which is about 30 inches. You understand? So that is what we are going to do. But this time around, we are not going to use the shovel. We are going to make use of our digging uga. Yeah, so this is our 3 horsepower Aspero DZ63. Uh, this is our Uga for digging. So we are going to use it to dig the ground in order to get um, the exact depth for this plantain. So what you need to know now is that by the time we dig this thing, you can see the drill bit is a kind of smaller than the stem. So what we we'll do when we, by the time we finish digging with the drill bit, we we'll then use shovel to expand it. So with the drill bit, it will enable us to have the desired uh, depth we need. So this is how we go. the depth we needed so you can see the soil is now soft you can take a look at it Push. 
so now you can see we've gotten the depth we need for this so you can see the hole is as wide as the stair so now the next thing we're going to do we have to raise this tree up straight inside the hole in order for it to enable it to continue its growth so that it won't lose that um, particular plant and this is a pure practical exercise that is why I will always tell you guys to subscribe to my channel so that you can be seeing these practical steps okay I have a question okay my question is this if we raise this stem up now okay. and put it back to here yeah will it start afresh or it will continue where it's up because of this plantain seed now okay will this plantain seed die or will we still okay. have hope on it what you need to understand is um the thing that was affected was the inflorescence this is the inflorescence so by the time the plantain went down the inflorescence got broken so is as the same thing as castrating or cutting off the inflorescence so what will happen here now is that these ones that are still attached to the tree will continue its growth okay. you understand okay. so this inflorescence helps this plantain to absorb its nutrient you understand since you have removed this every nutrient goes directly to into the, the plantain okay. into the fingers you get it yes. so it will now help them grow bigger that is why most times when people plant these things at a particular stage they'll cut off the inflorescence just to enable it grow okay. bigger so we move um another question okay um uh, i don't know how long this plantain has been lying here okay does it have um, a particular time or as in do you have any time that you think we'll get to without raising that they that will affect the seed the plantain okay. seed what really happens is that since uh this plantain uh is a kind of fruit that continue its growth what you need to know is that this plantain went down